Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to compare to Excel or to CSV file using Python pandas library. So let's get started. Uh, so as you can see, I have already created a folder that has the my Python script and those two Excel files that I will use for comparison. OK, so let me import uh, pandas library. And I'll run this cell. And let me get rid of this. I'll make the variables visible and let me read those two Excel file into a uh, data frame. D dot read Excel file one dot XLSX and similarly for file two. And I'll run this cell. So as you can see, we have those two data frames. And if you can see, we have seven columns. And this is the data frame two. And this is the data frame one. Uh, so the columns order is exactly same and the column names are also exactly same. So uh, how I'm going to do this, I'll, I'm going to use Python pandas uh, merge method and I'm going to do an outer join. OK, so let me do this. TF1 dot merge. T, OK, so right equal to TF2. Let me check the effort. And left on is TF1 dot columns dot to list. Right on df2 dot columns dot underscore to list and how equal to outer. So let me run this cell and let's see what we have got. So we have got all those records which were present in df1 and df2. But this does not tell, I mean, what records are present in DF1 and not present in DF2 and vice versa. So to do this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to rename the columns of uh, both the data frames. So let me do this. Columns equal to, I'm going to use lambda function x plus underscore file one. So this is our file one and and in place equal to true. And similarly for data frame two. And I'm gonna run this cell. So I'll show you the data frames. So, so the data frame is exactly same, just that the columns are now suffixed with file underscore two and file underscore one. Right, and now I'm going to perform the same outer join that we did earlier, and let's see what we get. Let me run this cell, and now this is what we have instead of seven columns, now we have 14 columns. So the first seven columns are of data frame one, and the uh, last seven columns are of data frame two, right. And as you can see, the, uh, these blank records, these are basically uh, the records which were present in data frame two, but not in data frame one. And that's why these are blank in case of data frame one. This is the uh, data frame one. These are the data frame one columns, as you can see, underscore five, file one, right? And the next uh, seven columns are of data frame two, which are suffixed with underscore file two. Right. So to get these records, I'm going to simply uh, filter those records. And what I'm going to do is let's see uh, records present in it's a pretty big name, but let's move on. DF1 not in DF. Right, and 
so this is what I'm gonna do df join df underscore join dot I lock uh, no need to use I lock in fact df2 dot columns dot two underscore list dot is null dot all and access equal to one and the f1 dot columns dot two underscore list so this is what we have let me check this this is correct or not and okay and we have to use lock function or operator and let's see what we get so i'll run this cell and this is what we have so these are the records which are present in df1 but not in df2 and similarly if you want to get the records which are present in df2 but not in df1 we just have to replace some of these and let's rename this present in df1 but not in df2 and i'm gonna oh. and let me run this cell and this is what we have so these are the records which are present in data frame one, uh, data frame two, but not in data frame one. So this file comparison method will, will work irrespective of the order of the records so, because it's doing a join operation, right? And this is quite similar to, you can say the SQL joins, okay? Thank you.